Thank you. Our government is laser focused on the health and well-being of workers across Ontario. Whether it is hiring over 100 new workplace inspectors, doubling the phone lines at our contact centers, or publishing hundreds of resources and guides, one thing is clear. We will have no stones unturned in our mission to keep our workers safe. To achieve our mission, we must confront those in our society who break the rules. Doing so protects both honest employers and most importantly, our workers. That is what today's announcement is all about. And I know that Minister and I share the same goal as all of us here today, to make sure every worker in Ontario goes home safe to their loved ones at the end of the day. And that begins with ending the exploitation of workers. It is now my absolute pleasure to welcome Minister Monty McNaughton to the podium to share more about our ambitious plan. Thank you so much. Great. Well, thank you uh, so much, uh, Deepak, and good morning, everyone. Uh, it's great to be with all of you uh, here this morning. I want to thank uh, Deepak for all his work as my parliamentary assistant uh, and ensuring that we're building back uh, a better Ontario as we come out of COVID-19. I also want to thank uh, Salim Sadiq, owner of Systems Staffing Solution, for joining us uh, today, and he's going to speak uh, in a couple of moments. In Ontario, there are over 3,000 temporary help agencies and thousands of recruiters. Most, like uh, Sleem here of System Staffing Solutions, are upstanding operations. They treat their workers with the dignity and respect they deserve while helping employers fill short-term labour needs. Unfortunately, some are lawbreakers who exploit their workers. This needs to change. Over the past two years, my ministry has focused inspections on temporary help agencies. The underground activity they found makes millions of dollars off the backs of workers. By not paying minimum wage, not paying holiday pay, and not paying overtime pay. They also found recruiters charging workers illegal hiring fees and then, then clawing back their pay. This ends now. It's time we return these stolen paychecks to the workers who earn them and level up the playing field for all agencies and recruiters. Today, I'm pleased to announce the most comprehensive plan in Canada to protect vulnerable workers and honest employers. Our plan, if passed, would require agencies and recruiters to get a license, pay a security bond, and be listed on a public online database. Those who fail to get a license or choose to use an unlicensed agency will face the highest fines in the country and could face possible jail time. We're shining a light on rule breakers and sending a clear message. Breaking the law is not a cost of doing business in Ontario. If you're not following the rules, we can and we will shut you down. We are taking these steps to help vulnerable workers, mostly young people, women, migrant workers and newcomers who are being exploited by unethical agencies. My ministry is also taking immediate enforcement action. This year, we are hiring dedicated boots on the ground to crack down on labour trafficking. No worker should have their movements tracked. No workers should have their passports taken away from them. And no worker should be sleeping on a straw bed. Simply put, no worker in a province as prosperous and fair as ours should be going to work in fear. Our government will spare no expense to protect the health and safety of every worker in Ontario, regardless of their passport. These actions are strong, but we must be decisive to stop once and for all the bad actors from flourishing by breaking the law. I'm convinced our plan will create real lasting change everywhere across Ontario. We're working for workers so they can live and raise a family in our great province. And with that, I'll now turn it over uh, to Salim for a few words. Thank you. Good morning. 
to everyone, <clears throat> and thank you. Yeah, thank you, Minister McNafton, for the kind introduction. And it is honor to be here in this legislative building first time. Our business connects talented people with the job that match their skills. And this lets companies in our community fill short-term labor while helping our neighbors to earn the income. As an employer, protecting our worker is our top priority. And it is important to keep them safe and ensure everyone is making equal or above a minimum wage. Thank you to the minister for work with the employers and recognizing the important role that we play in our communities. It is a pleasure to join you today here. Now I pass back to Mr. Thank you. Great. Thank you uh, so much, uh, Salim, and we're happy to take uh, any questions if there are any. How much of this is going to uh, depend on workers actually calling in and complaining? As you mentioned, a lot of these people are newcomers, and they don't, a lot of them don't feel like they can call without putting themselves and their ability to stay in the country in jeopardy. Is this going is this going to be proactive or are you going to just wait for people that work up the courage to actually call? Oh no, these uh, this is going to be uh, proactive. Uh, I want every worker to know that they're protected under Ontario labour laws regardless of their uh, passport status. Um, we are immediately uh, going to be putting uh, boots on the ground to go out to temp help agencies uh, to inspect and investigate uh, those THAs and recruiters to make sure that they're uh, playing uh, by the rules. Um, but uh, most importantly, and uh, you know, what is going to build the most comprehensive system in the country is by creating this licensing uh, framework to ensure that all temp help agencies and recruiters uh, apply to the ministry uh, for a license. Uh, and uh, we're going to ensure that uh, all workers uh, feel safe uh, here in the province. Another question for Mr. Anand. Do you have any numbers on how many of the um, enhanced certificates were downloaded over the weekend? So you're confusing with me with uh, Minister Khalid, so that's totally fine. You're not the first one. Uh, uh, we can definitely get back to you and can get you that answer, uh, but we are happy and excited that uh, we actually uh, have a lot of uh, our own resident called in to ask about the certificate. Thank you for the question. Um, so, Minister, there's a certain amount of skepticism about this, uh, these measures, given that one of the first acts of your government was to repeal legislation that would have paid temporary and part-time workers at the same, or force companies to pay temporary and, and part-time workers at the same rate as full-time workers. Um, you know, what do you, how, how do you respond to accusations that you're, um, you know, you're, you're being a bit hypocritical by bringing in these, these rules now, given what you did earlier in, in your government's term? Well, look, one of the first um, uh, actions uh, that I took was to uh, begin uh, building a plan to protect uh, workers that are working uh, with temp help uh, agencies. Uh, I began this process when I became Minister of Labour back in June of uh, 2019. Uh, I think certainly the pandemic has highlighted uh, challenges and weaknesses uh, across the province. Uh, coming out of this pandemic, I want to build uh, a better province uh, back. Uh, this is the uh, first uh, in a series of uh, decisive actions that we're going to be uh, rolling out over the next uh, number of days and weeks to protect uh, workers. Uh, quite frankly, uh, when it comes to uh, those uh, vulnerable workers, those that uh, you know are, are women, uh, low-income workers, uh, racialized uh, workers that have been victims by those unscrupulous uh, temp help agencies and recruiters, like this is an issue that should have been dealt with uh, a decade ago. Uh, so it's been all governments of all different stripes that uh, haven't taken action and, and we're taking action today. And so you mentioned m more steps to come and you, you told the um, Building Trades uh, uh, Council in a speech last week that you're bringing forward legislation focused, you're going to bring forward legislation focused on protecting all workers. So can you give us some hints about what else is coming? Uh, we're going to be uh, rolling out a series of decisive uh, measures to better protect uh, all workers uh, in the province. Today, 
uh, we're taking uh, action on uh, temp help agencies and recruiters, those workers that work uh, through them. Um, I believe, uh, as you referenced me speaking to uh, about 250 labour leaders across the province last week, I believe uh, that it's in workers' best interest to have government, labour and business uh, working together. That's how we're going to spread opportunity more widely and fairly. Uh, I. Uh, you know, have been very vocal on the opportunities that are out there uh, in the skilled trades. These are jobs with defined uh, pensions and benefits. I want to see more uh, of those opportunities uh, across uh, the province, and we're going to be rolling out measures that uh, improve uh, the standard of living for workers that uh, ensure that they have uh, bigger paychecks and more benefits. Great. Thanks. Um, could you just talk a little bit about what um, uh, kind of jobs you place uh, temporary workers in and what are the things that you, you, know, you say you do that sort of differentiates you from uh, the, the, the bad actors in this, in this industry? Yeah. <clears throat> Number one, <clears throat> the, the companies, especially after COVID-19 or during that time, they had a very hard time where their demand and supply was so fluctuating. And employment agency, or especially we, we fill in their needs. Sometime Monday to Wednesday, they're very busy, right? And next week, they're not. So the employment agencies are perfect that our one employee can work in two companies. And uh, that's the way we serve the both parties. And uh, more than half of our workers are paid above the minimum wage. So, and we try our best to do and work together with the government and uh, not to break the law. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, gentlemen.